Man, I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes trying to figure out how to start this video. So you know what? Let's just get into it. This is going to be exactly like the previous tech video, only it's not nature tech, it's industry tech. We're going to go over every single one of these. I'm going to give you my personal recommendation on whether or not I think they're worth using. And also if there's tech in here that's kind of 50-50 on whether or not it's worth using, I'll explain what the best way to use it would be. So with that out of the way, <laughs> let's start with Enhance Export. When a player sells one armor or weapon successfully in any trade city, he or she will earn 50 tech points in his or her camp up to 1000 points daily. So it's my understanding that this is 1000 points for the entire camp, uh, which kind of leads me to believe that 1000 tech points for the whole camp in one day is not really worth it because as I've said many times before, these tech are expensive to run. They're going to cost wood, stone, hemp, or gold bars or a combination of those things. And most of the time, the return on investment for running the tech is not worth it. So I would have to say skip enhance export. Advanced dog food. This is a great personal tech. The pet can also taste the food you make. So actually, I'm going to show you this very quickly. If you hit feed pet while you have this tech active, you can actually feed your pet cooked food. It is kind of cool that instead of just feeding him raw stuff like, uh, you know, like rib meat, you can also feed your dog something like this. It's a personal tech. If you're into like the role playing stuff, then go right ahead. Heatwave help weapon. Crafting time of accessories at the weapon store decreased by 50% during heatwave. Let's go over that real quick. Crafting time of accessories at the weapon store decreased by 50% during heat waves. Since the season 3 update, the time for crafting accessories has been greatly reduced. It used to take 4 hours to craft one accessory in the weapon and armor shop. Now it takes 10 seconds to craft an accessory. 50% of 10 seconds is only 5 seconds. So yeah, you are getting 50% but you're only taking out five seconds. So this is a joke. They need to delete this tech and replace it with something that's actually gonna make a difference. This is a tech that you should never run under any circumstance. It doesn't do anything. This one is exactly the same, only it's slightly different. Make armor in the snow. During light snow and heavy snow, the crafting time of accessories at the armor shop is decreased by 50%. It takes 10 seconds to make a cotton layer. It takes 10 seconds to make a chain layer. It takes 10 seconds to make a steel layer. That's all I have to say about that. Gourmet Charm. One canteen donation can provide the camp with 30 technology points up to 300 daily. This one's not bad. I think that more camps should focus on getting their canteen filled every day so that they can get the buffs. You should already be buffing your camp canteen and now everybody will get extra tech points. Crafting time of accessories at the weapon store is reduced to 90%. Notice how it doesn't say reduced by 90%. It says reduced to 90%. Let's figure this out real quick. If it takes 10 seconds to make a basic muzzle, 10 seconds is 100% of the time, then 90% of that time would be 9 seconds. Armament order tech takes 1 second off of the total time that it takes to make a weapon accessory at the weapon store. They need to remove these tech because they are old and outdated and do nothing. <laughs> Advanced canteen. The camp canteen will provide more powerful food. If you're already buffing your food from canteen for trap and you run gourmet charm, then run this alongside it. Just don't run it multiple days in a row, just like basically every other tech. You want to reset this pretty regularly, so I would just run it on Thursday and Sunday, just to add a little bit extra to your uh, camp meals. Armor order. The making time at the armor store can be reduced to 90% of the current. Really? <laughs> You're going to remove one second from the time it takes to make a cotton layer. Okay. It's going to save you one second. And it's going to cost resources. Items. Thousands and thousands of items. Don't run this tech. Nettie's needs to delete these. I don't understand why they're still here. The reason that we had not had our industry type upgrade maxed out is because of these tech. These are useless. Most of the tech in this category is a joke. If you thought nature was funny, just wait until we get to the end of this list. Eating ceremony. Put food on a table to eat, which can extend the food's effect by 20%. Personal tech. Gives you a longer buff for your food buffs. Perfect. Management first. The player's camp gets one management point 
for each 15 items made by the machine in the central square up to three points daily. For every 15 items that get crafted downtown, so in the armor shop, the weapon shop, and the furniture shop, every 15 items that get made, you get one management point as a camp up to three points daily. You could apply for Trade City, or you might be a new camp and your management starts out low, or if your camp does not complete its patrol quota and you lose one management every day, then this is the tech for you. Most camps don't get their patrols done, so you should be using this when you apply for Trade City anyways. The easiest way to use this tech to get those three management points would be to go and craft 45 wooden boards. So every time you make 15 wooden boards at the furniture shop, you will get one management point. So you craft 45 and you get three. Boom. That's all it takes. You don't even have to tell your campmates about this. You as the mayor or the officer can just go do this yourself and you're getting management points. It has saved our camp at least a hundred times. Turbulent gear, Tex Brandon will sell you climbing ropes and cracked batteries. Personal tech, if you go to Turbulent City a lot, then you get extra ropes and extra batteries. Totally up to you, but I use it, so there you go. Weapon store crafting, Julie Wang will produce reagents and crystals for your camp. Camp members can also craft mechanical materials. So this is an interesting tech. You should use this on a regular basis because overall it will make your camp stronger, but you have to be careful about how much you use it. This tech uses stone and gold bars, and it can easily add up to about 20 or 30k stone per day. To really get the most out of this tech, what you need to do is make sure that as many people as, po as possible, first off, know about the tech, know what days that it runs, and know which items it consumes. Not only will you be able to afford the tech if everyone knows that it's active and is contributing to its cost, this tech will also make those members stronger because they already know it's running, they know the schedule for it, they're much more likely to use the tech if they know that it's active. So that daily notification about new camp technologies, most people do not look at that. I recommend using something like Discord and informing your members not only which tech is running that day, but also how to make the most of it. Weapon store crafting is awesome. Um, giving Julie Wang a few secondaries from wood and stone will produce one mechanical material per day. You can buy two from her, you can buy two from Acer, and as a free to play, you might be able to afford like another five from the mall. So you can get about 9 per day. This increases that to 10, and that might not sound like a lot, but that's a 10% increase. So you take 10% increase and span it over, I don't know, 2 months, and suddenly you have another 60 or 80 mechanical materials. Bear in mind, this is a good tech, but you have to be careful about how you run it, and make sure that your campmates know that it is active. It's extremely important. Armor store crafting is exactly the same. The only difference is that it makes armor materials. Weapon workshop. Julie Wang will increase production of film for the camp pre-technology weapon store crafting. This adds films on top of the reagents and crystals in weapon store crafting. That's all it does. It produces film. Rapid crafting. Julie Wang will produce items faster than before. This does not increase the speed of the actual mechanical materials, it just increases the speed of the reagents, crystals, and if you have this active, the films as well. And to use either of these tech, obviously, you need to have weapon store crafting active as well. Armor Workshop, Lisa will increase production of film for the camp. So this is very similar. Uh, with this tech, our armor store crafting, Lisa produces reagents and crystals, just like weapon store crafting, and this will increase the production of film, so it will produce film on top of the re reagents and crystals. It will not change anything related to the armor materials that she makes per day. Speed up crafting, Lisa produces items faster than before, so pre-technology armor store crafting. This is exactly like the rapid crafting for weapon store crafting. It increases the speed that the reagents, crystals, and if you have this tech active, the film, but it does not change the speed of the armor and weapon materials. And again, you have to have armor store crafting to use either of these two. Treasure Trove Contract. Increase vault security points earned by 15%. However, points deducted is also increased by 20% once the vault is broken into. So this is kind of an interesting tech. It's a little bit of a gamble because in theory, it will generate more 
security points, but the problem is that you can't use security points to feed your vault. I'm not really sure what the point of this is. Most people that have at least a good amount of resources stored in their vault are going to be maxed out on security points all the time. There's not really a whole lot in the vault exchange that you can buy that would consume your 50,000 points, and it only takes a couple of days to get that 50k back. An increase of 15% would help, although I'm not really sure that it's worth it because of the resources that this tech would cost to run. I don't recommend using this, I don't think it's a good idea. Gold brick trick, this is an interesting one. You can tell like the further down the line they got with these tech, like they were literally grasping at straws for ideas with some of these things because this is just hilarious. <laughs> when you transport materials in Hope 101, so furniture recycle, you will have a 25% chance to discover a large number of bricks from small and medium brick piles. Alrighty then. One pot cooking. When using cooking furniture in your manor, reduces the time by 20%. It's a personal tech. Use it if you want it. Don't use it if you don't want it. Camp Biker Gang. Motorcycles will appear in designated spots in the camp and will be available to campmates for a limited time. I'm not sure how long that time is. Um, everyone has a, mo a motorcycle now, so this isn't quite as useful as it used to be, but I have been in camps that have this active before the update where everybody got a motorcycle, and it was pretty cool. I think it could be fun, but it's not going to be functionally cost effective to run this tech i think the main reason that you would use this tech would be just to have fun like if you set up a race in camp then you could use the, those bikes and just make a game out of it but other than that i don't think you should use this at all diligent special research another amazingly useless tech when conducting formula special research the amount of new dollars spent is reduced by 10 percent Notice how it doesn't say reduced to 10%. All right, so let's say you take your Kukri, right? You're like, I really want to star up my Kukri. It's going to cost 500 new dollars for each research attempt, okay? But the thing is, 10% is basically nothing. So I'm saving 50 new dollars by having that tech active. This is a joke. Do not run whatever that tech was called. I can't remember it because it's not even worth remembering. Ah yes, diligent special research. What a joke. Speaking of jokes, TV salesman. When trading via the TV, 4% of extra sales tax will be remitted. So this is very similar to the other tech. Uh, I don't remember what it's called in nature tech. It's useless. Um, it reduced the tax by 2%. This reduces it by 4%. No matter what you do, you are still wasting gold by paying a tax at all. Please just go buy your items at Trade City. Do not use the TV and do not waste your resources to save some tax while still throwing away gold. Shared ammo box. Ammo boxes will appear in designated spots in the camp and can be used a limited number of times. It kind of depends on how many times you can use the ammo box. I would guess it's something like 3 to 5. I don't think it's like unlimited ammo. It's not really like something you need, but if you can afford it, definitely use these because I think they're fun and it will save people some ammo, I guess. Next is power enhancement. Vehicle supply device provides 30% longer acceleration and appears at a fixed location in the camp. So right now with the camp infrastructure system, you can place down those gas pumps. These would place down fixed gas pumps that would appear only when this tech is active. And essentially what that would do is also increase the speed duration for using those gas pumps. It's kind of cool. Um, if you use like these two in combination with each other, it kind of makes sense. But at the same time, I think you can just place down your infrastructure gas pumps and they're permanent. Plus, they don't cost anything after they're placed. This is going to cost resources every day. So while it is sort of a more official way to do it, I think it's not quite worth it. Next is scientific manufacturing. Infrastructure except highways cost 10% less nanoplastic. This doesn't specify whether or not it means 10% less nanoplastic for infrastructure in camp, or 10% less nanoplastic for infrastructure in general, or 10% less nanoplastic for infrastructure outside of camp. Either way, 10% is not a lot, and it doesn't even include highways, so it's like that one grill that you place, you know, every two weeks. Is it really worth 10% nanoplastic cost just for that? I mean, I don't really think this is a good idea. 
I wouldn't use it. It seems like a waste of resources. This is just another trick NetEase is using to empty your camp vault, basically. Accessory export. Temporary level gained by adding accessory upgrade materials lasts 30% longer. This is pretty cool, actually, because that could be the difference between you buff your mods for one hour to get ops done, and then you also get an extra 30%, so that's another 20 minutes, roughly, where you can go spend that extra time in Nancy or for, you know, some event or go do a Mystic while you still have some temp mod time left. I think this is cool. It's a personal tech. It doesn't cost anything. I would use this if you temp your mods regularly. And finally, the last one, which is also a personal tech, workstation enhancements. Crafting time on gear workstation reduced by 20%. If you're really looking for something to fill your last slot for personal tech, then I guess go ahead and use this. I don't think it's really worth it because once you max out the skill for your crafting, I don't remember what the skill is called, but there's a skill in crafting that reduces the amount of time for your gear workstation and also adds more slots. You can use it if you really need it and it's a personal tech, so it's really up to you. That is every single tech in industry. Now you can see why we waited so long to increase our industry type upgrade to max, because frankly, most of these tech are a joke. It's my actual belief, and this is not, I'm not kidding when I say this, it's my actual belief that Netties invented a lot of these techs just to empty your camp vault. So do be careful with what tech you run. There's only really a small handful of them out there that are worth using and you have to look at the cost associated with the tech and ask yourself is it worth it for the upgrade that I'm gonna get while this tech is active to spend th thousands of resources on it that's really what it comes down to and you also need to make sure that you're running your tech on the right day that's pretty much going to do it there will be another video on Friday next week which will be military tech. I will talk about all of the military tech, exactly how I've done it for nature and industry. If you're interested in watching Life After Streams, I stream on Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at about 1600 in-game. If I start at 1600 and we have a camp event or we have something going on or we need to do ops or someone needs help with something, I will basically stay streaming until there is nothing left to do. So if you are interested in watching that kind of thing, it's just a chilled stream. Uh, I don't do death high because death high is stupid. So don't expect any kind of DH content from my channel because I will not be doing that. Other than that, that is basically everything I have to say, and I will stop rambling. So thank you for watching, and I hope this was informative. If there's anything I forgot, or if uh, you'd like to ask me a question, then definitely feel free to drop a comment or send me a message in-game. I will do my best to answer them. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Advanced Canteen. The Camp Canteen will provide more powerful meals. I'm sorry. Advanced Canteen. The Canteen... <laughs> Adva Adva <laughs> Motorcycles will appear in designated spots in the camp and will provide... It doesn't even say provide. What are you talking about? But here's the catch. If you're using the TV and this tech is active, you're still wasting gold. You're still wasting 1% of the cost. So if you buy something that's a million gold, you're still throwing away 1k. Wait. Windows. Calculator. 1 million divide by 1k oh no it equals 1000 I did it wrong 10,000 oh no wait <laughs> no dude clear 1000 times 100 oh it's only 100k okay yeah I did that wrong so it's actually 10,000 mmm